Hello team and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe for all the latest nutrition tips, day in the lives and also vlogs as well. Guys, I'm doing a bit of a different YouTube video today. Sydney is in lockdown and I'm gonna show you a day in the life of me in lockdown and what I get up to as well. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I said before, I'm going to show you a day in the life of me whilst in lockdown. Sydney has been in lockdown for about two weeks now and we just got news today as well that we'll be in lockdown for another week. How am I feeling? I was just gonna say, you know, the first two weeks, yes, doable, but after the news of today, it's going to be extended. I'm feeling a little bit disheartened. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling freaking homesick. I was supposed to be in Melbourne at the start of the year. They went into lockdown, then I was supposed to go in March, then we moved house, then life happened, and then they went into lockdown. Now we're in lockdown. I'm kind of a bit fed up. I miss my family. I'm <laughs> really, I don't know guys, but I'm making it through. I'm trying to stay positive. You know, one thing that I teach and preach to a lot of my clients is to stay in routine and to keep some structure, which is exactly what I'm doing. You know, I still get up in the morning, I still do a workout, I'll go for a walk, do a home workout, of course, I've got some equipment here as well. And then, you know, second, I come back, have my breakfast, and then have a shower, what my normal routine would be as well, and then get started for the day ahead. Of course, I am used to be work, I'm used to working from home, that's what I do in my day-to-day -day basis pre-lockdown. So for me, not much has changed during the day, but of course, you know, one day that I finish my work early, work's also gone down a bit for me as well because people don't want to spend money. Um, it's, it's a bit hard, I must admit, you know, I've just released my fourth ebook, which did keep up a bit of time. I'm doing something else on the end of that, which is going to be released in September. So my, my you know, workload is busy, but you know, it is really hard, especially not being able to socialize with people. Yes, you can go for walks, but walking's not the same as going for a boogie with your friends, you know, going out for dinners, things like that, it is, I don't even know guys, but I'm gonna show you a day in the life. So like I said, I try to keep some structure and also some routine throughout my day. Of course, I've got a lot more time. I've really taken a big step back. I've slept in, you know, I've been going for more walks. I've got a coloring book. Me and Pete play all these games. We've got Jenga, we've got Monopoly. We've been having a lot more games as well. And just a lot more time to cook. I've been really doing some lockdown cooking, which I absolutely love. You guys know that I love cooking, but in everyday to day to day life, it is a bit hard for me to, you know, find that time to cook a lot of recipes, but now I do have a bit more time, so I've been cooking up a storm. But other than that, guys, stay tuned for a day in the life. I'm going to get ready for my morning walk and let's go. So guys, I'm just on a bit of a walk. At the moment, I've been doing walks every day. I've even been doing two walks a day sometimes, just because it's not only my physical health, which I want to look after, it's also my mental health as well. And for me, walking helps me so much. It clears my mind. I put my headphones on. I catch up for friends going for walks, everything like that. So for me, you know, exercise isn't always for physical health. It is also for mental health as well. And walks really help me. So I'll try and smash out to a day, one a day, whichever. And especially living near the beach, it definitely helps as well. Just clear my mind and helps me stress less as well. So during lockdown, I've been trying to get 12,000 steps a day. Although this week, second week of lockdown, I've upped it to 15,000. Gives me a bit of a goal as well. I love goal setting, you guys know me. So I'm gonna finish my walk, keep you updated on the rest of my day. Whew. Hey team, so I've just gotten back from my morning walk. So one thing that I always do after my morning walk or a little bit of a training session is to replenish my body with some good nutrients. And for breakfast, I'm having my usual, which is an egg white omelet 
with some English muffins and also some skinny tzatziki. If you don't know what I'm having for breakfast, I'll show you, but also check out my other YouTube videos as well. So one thing that is really important to me, especially during lockdown, is to have really good nutrition. Like, yes, you are gonna eat off plan. Yes, the pantry's right there. Of course, you're gonna get tempted. And a lot of people do stress eat as well. But for me, I like to, like to, like to, and I need to eat healthy. You know, yes, I'm gonna have some meals off track, but majority of my meals are healthy and the same that I would have pre-lockdown. Just because you're in lockdown doesn't mean you have to eat crap and eat crap food. Because one thing that I do believe in is if you eat crap food, you feel crap. Same as if you don't work out, you feel crap as well. So for me, I need to stay positive. I'm gonna have my same meals, same routine, and then get straight stuck into work as well. So. I'm gonna finish cooking my breakfast. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. But like I said before, if you're stuck in lockdown or going through that lockdown phase, make sure you do keep your nutrition up. I'll show you throughout the day what I eat. I mean, all my meals are really healthy and on track. Yes, I might have a few extra calories here and there, especially during lockdown. I'm tempting, you know, you're stressed. You, I get really anxious as well sometimes, but I'm trying to, you know, find ways as an outlet for going for walks, writing in my diaries, you know, playing games, doing my coloring book, things like that. It is a stressful time, but trying to make do, be positive, and I'm so hungry, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> So first meal of the day is looking super tasty. Check it out. I'm so hungry this morning. I did a massive walk as well, but I'm gonna get stuck in and then I'm gonna get stuck into some work. Of course, before work, I will shower. I am a little bit sweaty, but you guys won't see that, but I'll show you when I get stuck into some work. Yum. So my morning walk is all done and I'm just sitting down in my office as usual, getting stuck into some meal plans and also ultimate packages as well. Also we'll work on a bit of content as well today. So my day is pretty much similar to what it was pre-lockdown um, and especially in lockdown because I do work from home a lot. So, you know, during the days I do find it a lot more easier. So just getting stuck into work, but then I'll break for lunch. I'll probably do another walk, <laughs> just trying to keep busy. And then I'll do a bit of a home workout as well. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that one. <laughs> So I'm just taking a break from my work and it is lunchtime. As I said, I'm trying to keep the same structure as I normally would if I am not in lockdown. So lunchtime is about 12.30. I love to cook and one thing that I've definitely been doing a lot more is cooking. So I've whipped up a soup and I've also got some rice paper rolls in the fridge. I've been doing a lot of cooking. As you can see, there's a lot of meal prep in there, but that's one thing that does keep me busy. And one thing that definitely helps me release a lot of stress is cooking as well. So I've got my soup to dig into and also some rice paper rolls, but same structure, same routine, and just trying to stay positive as well. So stay tuned for what I get up to after lunch. Still preparing all my meals, as you can see. I just believe that having good nutrition during this time as well is super important. Also stay, helps you stay positive and feeling good. So that is what my goal is to do. So just finished lunch and now we are back to work. Pete is here as well. How are you finding lockdown with me? I'm <laughs> um, just busy. Busy? Busy, 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 busy. busy. <laughs> So Pete owns obviously F45 gym, so he's just trying to manage all of that, but you are being positive through it. Yeah, I mean, it's still <laughs> trying to stay busy, right? Like, it's all you can do at this time, so. Yeah. Trying to do our best for the clients, trying to give back as much as we can, and just make everyone um, stay on track with the health and fitness, really, it's all you can do. And what's one piece of advice you'd give to someone who's struggling in lockdown? Try to stick to your routine as much mm -hmm. as possible. I've been saying, guys. Um, <laughs> Pete yeah. didn't even listen to me say that, but that's what I've been saying. Because I think it's important, like if you normally train in the morning, try to do something in the morning, some type of training, it's going to be different. Mm. Um, if you normally do something at lunch, try to do that. And same with trying to get out and about, it's just probably keeps you um, as much as you can, as close as you can to it. Yeah, and I guess for us as well, like during the day, we always work, well, we work from home, so not much has changed during the day. Like obviously we can't go to the gym and stuff like that, but we just learnt to adapt, so adapt to the circumstances. So more home training, more walks but started running, everything like that. And then we've just been cooking a lot more too. Like even last night we made homemade parmas. Like during the week we wouldn't have enough time to do that. But even just finding little things like that, taking a big step back and just having more time to relax, sleep in and everything like that. And are you sick of me yet? No, no, <laughs> there you go.
So I also split up my day by going to the grocery store. Me and Pete are lucky enough that we do live below a grocery store, so we don't really need to travel. Got my grocery bag, incredible. Got my face mask as well. Don't think I can film in there, but always good to kind of get out of the house you know, when you can, and then obviously go and chop up for some goods. We don't hoard, so we try and go to the grocery store every two days, and that is what I'm doing. So, dinner time, and we have a beautiful candle lit. So guys, I hope you love my YouTube video on a day in the life in lockdown. As you can see, I try to stay quite busy throughout the day. Um, and also, you know, just with work and spending time with Pete, I also like to call my mum and dad and also my family in Melbourne. I am a bit homesick, like I said at the start of the video. Try and stay really active as well. So for me, working out isn't always about physical health, also about mental health as well. And that's why I say to a lot of people and a lot of my clients to still keep the same routine, keep the same structure, but of course, adapt with it. Adapt with the times, adapt and do some home training, adapt and go for more walks, things like that, you know. Even on Sunday night, Pete and I had a cute little date night. On date nights that we'd go out for dinners, we had dinner on the table with a candle in the middle and got takeaway, things like that. You just need to adapt and you just need to do it for yourself. You know, you need to work on yourself. You get to find yourself a bit more throughout this time everything like that. And for me, lockdown is hard. It is hard for everyone. It's a very stressful time. But at the same time, it is also a learning experience for me as well. You know, I've learned a lot more about myself. I've learned that I'm very, you know, I'm very determined. I wake up every morning. I, I do, I get it done. I get it done every day. And for me, I'm really proud of myself. But fingers crossed we get out of lockdown very soon. Um, but I'll keep you updated. Make sure you guys follow my YouTube channel for some more cooking videos, nutrition tips, day in the life and so much more other than that enjoy your day guys and fingers crossed we get out of lockdown super soon